guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl sylvia thank you for joining in on another video so today we're going to be talking about kojic acid lotions and soap for you to use to you know keep your skin looking bright and radiant and also you know help with the hyperpigmentation and your dark spots and all of that but before we get into those lists let's talk about you know the pros and cons of kojic acid and you know if kojic acid is safe for your skin okay so let's get into it firstly kojic acid kojic acid is not a plant well technically it is it is made from fermented rice okay so it's not a it's not like hydroquinone hydroquinone i don't even know where they made it from or where it's originated from but kojic acid is made from fermented rice and this um ingredient is popularly known in the korean chinese skincare because they were the i think they're the ones who you know use this um Kojic acid, the fermented rice to lighten their skin. You know, the Chinese people they are so obsessed with white skin and they use this ingredient to get that. So, let's talk about the pros of this. Now, this is Kojic acid is really effective for lightening the skin, it's effective for clearing out your dark spots and hyperpigmentation. It's very effective if you ask any of your organic um, skincare, even the conventional skincare kojic acid is a very active acid, um, acid for lightening and brightening but the pros the con of you know kojic acid is that one it doesn't um it has a very short shelf lifespan so basically you can be buying if you buy old products from somebody you would have you'd be buying maybe a byproduct of kojic acid that's it would have faded away that's what i'm trying to say okay so if you want to get kojic acid that will work for you you want to use it as quick as possible you can't be saving it for a short period of time that's why you see kojic acid products are very tiny their creams and lotions are very small because if you want to use your lotion for like three months i'm sorry you're using something else because your kojic acid has already evaporated away <laughs> So that's one of the cons of kojic acid so if you stop using kojic acid it will take you back or once you stop using it you will go back to your former skin tone okay so for example if you are maybe you're this skin color and you get maybe your lighter two or three shades lighter and you stop using kojic acid it will return you back to your normal skin tone over time so it's not a permanent solution to brightening your skin it's just for the appearance here and now okay so that's what you need to know about kojic acid but other than that it's very effective it doesn't have a long shelf life and it will do the work for you okay so what do i advise you to do if you're using kojic acid you want to ensure that kojic acid is not your main ingredient for brightening it's just something that you use you know as a substitute so for example if you're using Maybe you're using retinol, um, okay, and then for your maybe you're using it for your discoloration at night. You want to use kojic acid, maybe the soap to wash your face morning and evening. You know that kind of thing. You're substituting it with another product. So when you stop using it, you know you will not feel the effect that okay I've stopped using it. I'm going back to my previous complexion, okay. And then if you're using maybe you're using vitamin C, you're using papaya, you're using other you know safe brightening things then you can you know invite or bring in your kojic acid and it will work more effectively if that makes any sense so some of the best kojic acid that you can get here in lagos nigeria is the koji white koji white kojic acid papaya skin brightening lotion yes okay so it's a very light non-sticky lotion i think this goes for 11.5 um what website was that I think it's um tk4 um her website then it also comes with the lotion like the sorry the um the soap the double bar soap i'll show you as well so you can use both of them you know as a combo or just use one of them then there's the kojisan body lotion lightning lotion now the problem with this kojisan is that it's it's a saturated market there are a lot of there's the 
original koji san there's the original fake koji san and then there are the imitation koji san so you want to be sure that you're getting the original koji san how do you know the original koji san first of all get it from buy better or any of those websites and then it has a red logo on it i'll show you the picture here so you can see it and then the nigerian one is instead of that red logo it's i think it's purple and then there's the other imitation one that doesn't even have those signs on it so you want to make sure you're sure about what you're buying before you use it on your skin okay then we have the pure carrot koji balance lightning serum so this one you can just use you know apply it on your face it's a serum so it's not a body lotion and then there's the koji clear face cream okay that you can use it's like it's in a tube you can use this to for your face your spots and all of that stuff then there's the kojic soap there's the k brother one there is the other one there's the koji san one then there's this one i don't know what brand it is that has the round label in it so you can use that one as well i've used the k brothers i've used the other one that has the round um stuff i haven't used oh my god i haven't used the koji san one okay so those are the products that you can try authentic kojic um soap and lotions and serum that you can try on your skin be sure that when you use kojic and you use it very well it will work for you okay but you cannot just discontinue use so if you want to do it you can use it maybe on every other day so you can use it monday wednesdays and friday the only problem is that you need to use koji as a consistently for you to see the result okay so if you're alternating it it might not be as effective as possible so if you're going to use koji let's say for one week or two weeks then you need to get something to substitute it when you're done so that you don't go back to your first shade before you started using it okay so that's basically it for this video um everything kojic if there's any question that you need to know about kojic i said that i didn't mention here leave it in the comment section but before you leave make sure you subscribe to the channel like this video leave a comment i will answer you and have a lovely day guys see you in my next video bye <laughs>